Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be considering how our imaginations can play a role in our reactions. We'll begin by sitting on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. When you're ready, you can close your eyes. Let's take three deep breaths together now. Start with a big inhale, and then hold your breath for a moment, and exhale fully. Now take an even deeper breath in, and pause, holding it. And another full exhale. One last full inhale and hold. And one final big exhale, pushing every last bit of air out. Now watch as your breath settles into a natural rhythm. Watch your thoughts as they arise. Notice any exciting thoughts that may be floating around in your mind. If you fixated on a certain exciting thought, you could probably get worked up, elevate your heartbeat, and make yourself restless. If you instead try to imagine a calm, safe place, your heartbeat might slow down and your breath might gradually soften. As you watch your breath, heartbeat, and stress level interact, pick an image or a thought that you think might be exciting and see if you can excite your breath, mind, and heartbeat over completely imaginary thoughts. Watch your reactions to these thoughts for a few minutes in silence. If your mind has become absorbed in excitement or simply drifted off, return to observing the breath and heartbeat. Start to imagine a calm setting, a comforting presence, or anything that might create a sense of calm. 
Also notice how the thoughts you choose to hold on to affect your mood, breath, and body. If an exciting thought arises, notice it and bring your awareness back to your calming place. Continue observing these cycles of activation and relaxation and silence for a few minutes. Ground yourself in this moment, connecting to the breath and all the sensations in the body. Our imaginations are a powerful tool. They enable us to predict the possible outcomes from our actions, let us experience things we've never had the chance to see in person and even allow us to empathize with others by imagining ourselves in someone else's shoes. But the imagination can also run wild. Sometimes in an instance and interfere with our perception of reality. A classic example of this is that of a coiled rope that one could easily mistake for a deadly snake. The way we react to the real danger of a snake and to the imagined danger of a rope that looks like a snake is exactly the same. We might jump, run, or scream. Overcome with fear, we become reactive, even when there's no real danger. And when we're quick to react, our emotions overwhelm our sense of reason. The imagined presence of danger may not have been as dangerous as the real thing, but the experience was equally unpleasant. When we misread a facial expression and suspected somebody didn't like us, we might obsess over it for weeks. We might have a rough day from imagining that we are going to lose our job, get a bad grade, or think we've embarrassed ourselves and make ourselves anxious over nothing. While our imaginations can help us predict what may be coming, they can also saddle us with fear and anxiety over things that never have happened, and often they never will. While we must be mindful of what might be, 
we must also stay grounded in what we know is real. The balance between our imagination and our sense of reason can keep us from reacting to what has not yet happened and may not ever. It's not so bad to check for snakes, but when a rope makes us jump backwards and accidentally fall into a cactus, our imaginations may be overwhelming our rationality. When we sense our anxiety rising, it is important to decipher what it is we're seeing and if our reaction is of a proportionate response. Even when we have to react quickly, it can be helpful to remember to react from a reasonable place and not surrender our reactions to pure emotion. Mindfulness can guide us through this and give us the power to choose our reactions. Through practice, we can examine our reactions to different situations and start to discern where it is we might lose our heads most easily. We have all had those moments where our hearts skip a beat over nothing. But every time is an opportunity to examine our reactivity and to work towards having agency over our responses. Over time, we can learn to slow our reactivity down separate our imaginations from the reality of the moment and just maybe keep our cool if a real snake shows up someday. Come back into your body now. Shrug your shoulders backwards a few times. Now reverse and roll your shoulders forward a few times. Take one last clearing breath in and hold it for a moment. And let it out. Then allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for your mindfulness practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.